My mum's name's Gemma. About six years ago now, we found out that she um, got cancer and she died um, in hospital. And I just like fell to the ground in tears. I didn't know really how to comprehend it. It was like, you're getting a piece of your heart ripped out. We all caught COVID. At first it was my dad and then it was my mum and me. The paramedics tried to move my dad to the ambulance because they couldn't lift him. And he started walking and he collapsed at the top of the stairs. And he died there at the top of the stairs. A few days after my dad died, just felt unreal at times. I would start to cry. And I found it very hard not to. He felt sick, went to a hospital, he died by a heart attack. He's always in our hearts and he's always next to us, but we don't see it. I was around 10 years old when my sister Sakira passed away. I was told my sister got into a fight and then she was stabbed to death in Camden. I felt my stomach drop. I felt confused and I didn't know how to feel. It was one of the worst moments of my life. The hardest thing was losing someone I could talk to. I think about her meet every day. Grieving Cancer is like a place where these people help you. Grief Encounter is a charity that helps bereaved children. Children, even adults that have lost somebody very, very close to them. You're going on a constant roller coaster of going up and down in feelings. I wrote down my emotions, I wrote down um, things about my family. We did loads of drawing, we did like acting, we did games. We did all sorts of stuff. I remembered the things that Dad had and drew it. I drew his watch, his T-shirt. Me and my family went to the theatre with other families to go and watch the show. They do loads of things like that, social things. At a residential, I made a lot of friends. I did find it quite easy to talk to the people there because they've all lost somebody that close to them that they know what to say. It was very helpful to have someone who didn't judge me, wouldn't get angry, wouldn't get sad, wouldn't overreact or anything. They're just here to listen and here to help. My relationship has changed for the better with my family. I used to cry quite a lot because I missed him. I used to say it was my fault that he was gone, but now I say it's not my fault. Grief Encounter is really kind. They understand you. They made me feel comfortable by telling me that they're here for me and they're just here to listen to me. Healing after you've lost someone, it's slow. It doesn't happen automatically. It doesn't happen overnight. It gets better some days. Sometimes you take a step back and you just ultimately like learn from the experience. I feel in a much more comfortable place now, thanks to the healing process and especially Grief Encounter's amazing work. And without them, I'm sure I'd be in a much different place to where I am now. <laughs>